Hello everybody, this is Chewy Plays Nintendo, and today I'm going to talk about the new species of villagers fans want to see in Animal Crossing Switch. I've been really excited about this video because so many of you posted so many great animals that could be in the game. The other reason is because I limited myself to only choosing one villager species that already existed as a special character. I chose turtles, but I would have loved to also choose skunks and sloths. Regardless, here is a look of the different villager types fans would like to see in the game. Itty Blue Jay says, I just really want nocturnal villagers. Bats spring to mind immediately, but there's plenty of other potential animals for that. They could make some villager owls or foxes or maybe coyotes. It would certainly be interesting to have villagers that would wander around in the middle of the night and ask you to do things for them. So this is something I've heard a lot go around for quite a bit, but I agree. Mostly, I would really, I guess, like to the integrate this along with like some sort of job things that villagers could do. One of the big things with Animal Crossing is the real-time clock, and you know, stores are actually tied to that as well. So when you don't have the Night Owl Ordinance, for example, and people are usually, at least the people who play late at night, don't really get the chance to experience the game like it would be uh, normally, just because the shops are closed and that sort of thing. So this would tie in very well with like villagers getting jobs and being able to keep stores open longer into the night or even all night. So a 24-7 type of town would be very cool to me. Sarah Gardner says, I love owls, hedgehogs, and foxes, but they're all already NPCs. So I picked this one specifically because yes, I, I like I said, I limited myself to one pick that was already existing, but yes, I would love to see owls, hedgehogs, and foxes, especially the hedgehogs. They're so cute. Um, all we really have right now is Mabel, Sable, and of course Label, or she actually goes by LaBelle. But regardless, I want to see way more hedgehogs in the game. Grace Mac and Cheese says, I'd love to see gecko villagers. They could come in all sorts of colors and patterns. And I love this idea too. One thing that was missing from my list is like reptilian type of creatures and geckos would be a great addition to that, especially because you do see a lot of different colors and patterns on these. So it'd be really nice to see alternative skins for these characters. Dean says, a badger species would be cute. And yes, once again, I do love the idea of having badgers, and yeah, I don't, I can't think of any in-game, but we definitely need some badgers in this next game, for sure. Brennan Hart wrote, Snake villagers. Their tails will carry tools like watering cans, and instead of shirts, the males will wear bow ties in the pattern of the shirt, and females will wear bows in the pattern of the shirt, like sheep scarves. Also, a new dog villager whose face is the color scheme of a Switch Joy-Con grip controller. <laughs> um, so I love both of these things. I do always really appreciate that characters like the sheep Instead of wearing a shirt with like, well, I guess they turn them into tank tops because people are always cutting off their sleeves and everything. I wish they would change that. Regardless, the sheep would wear scarves instead. So I really like this idea of snakes wearing more of a bow tie or a bow in their hair kind of thing. I think that's really cute. And then, yes, a lot of people have always looked at the Joy-Con grip controller scheme and said, that's definitely a dog. So <laughs> it would be pretty cute to see a dog interpretation of that controller. Lady Love says, the species I'd like to see added, an Amazon parrot, because I own one. And that is really cool. Um, I, I, like I said before, when I said quail, I did, I guess, I did realize that a lot of animals in the game are already some type of bird, but I, I don't mind. I just love birds, and so seeing a parrot or like even a toucan type of character would be really adorable. Cookie says, I would love to see alpacas. I had to think for a while because most of the animals I would want have made it into the game. Reese and Cyrus can't be the only ones in town though, unless they are up to something. <laughs> it would be neat to see more colors and theme variations of alpacas. The possibilities are endless. And this is a really cool idea too because um, Reese and Cyrus are one of the few characters that are like married in game, so you know there is Cap'n and his family and everything, but there aren't very many children in the game, so in our Discord there was somebody who 
um, Verity in our Discord actually drew an interpretation of if Reese and Cyrus were to have kids and they had like little cute alpaca children. But regardless, alpacas would be very cute. And yeah, like we already have some funky colored ones like pink and blue. That's not a normal color for an alpaca. So I can see them doing a lot of really fun colors with these characters. Aaron says, I'd love to see some kind of fox, other than red of course, like maybe a gray or white fox, and I'd love a playable hedgehog character. <laughs> okay, so yeah, they bring up like, a lot of people are really wanting to be able to choose to be an animal versus their human characters. Um, I, I would be overwhelmed if there were options for different animals, because I, I don't know, I just feel like I'd have to make a bunch of different characters as different animals, and I'd have way too many files to keep track of, but regardless, I think it's still cool to see hedgehogs. And then foxes are really great. Yeah, Red is one of those characters that we still don't get to see too often. Like even when you unlock other stores and shops and things, Red still is like a wanderer. He's still traveling in just once a week. So we only get to experience him in one setting, essentially. He is at some of the events and things. But other than that, I think we need to see more foxes for sure. Chip says, I'd love to see my favorite animal, a meerkat, <laughs> and that would be really cute. A uh, meerkat's a very unique character that we haven't gotten to see yet, so... And once again, I feel like that's another one where they can play with the patterns and the colors and everything and really make them interesting. Last Otter, of course, says Otter, but like, they're actual villagers, not only Pascal, Lyle, and Lottie, and Otters, of course, are very, very cute, and it would be really cute to have more of them. And I actually have the next two follow up really well to this. So Nina or Ninja says shark. Maybe sharks can be part of a new biome in the next Animal Crossing game. Maybe the ocean. And Adrian Calcelda O says, what about aquatic villagers that live in the sea? So these two kind of fit well with that otter thing but because they're very ocean themed animals. And so, at least like water-based animals, especially the shark, for example, but saying aquatic villagers that live in the sea, it'd be pretty interesting to see, <laughs> I guess I said sea, but it'd be interesting to see like the ocean kind of become another part of your town where you can visit and see animals. For example, New Leaf introduced the wetsuit so you were able to swim, but being able to see villagers move in and then make a house on the ocean like a shark would, that would be really cool. It'd be really interesting to see that. So I'm very into that idea for sure. Andrew says, I love the idea of lizard villagers with like a smooth skin type look and not so much a dragon. Also would love an actual black and white raccoon. So I think raccoon is definitely one you can get away with as not being in Animal Crossing yet. Technically, Tom Nook gets referred to as a raccoon in game, but he's a tanuki, not exactly a raccoon, so I think there's still hope for having a raccoon type of character, and I've always loved their little bandit masks and everything. But you also mentioned lizards, and I do also love the idea of lizards. I, I feel bad that my list left out those reptilian characters, and lizards, there's so many variations. All we've really gotten, I guess, in game are... You kind of have Nat as a chameleon, and you have um, an axolotl through Dr. Shrunk, and there is Frillard, who's Dr. Shrunk's mentor, who has kind of those uh, fancy heads that, I don't know, I, I can't even explain it, but regardless, more lizard variations would be great. Amber Lee Draws says, My top five completely new species, chinchillas, raccoons slash red pandas, griffins, yep, more mythical creatures please, sugar gliders, and bats. And then their special character species they want as villagers are fox, axolotl, skunk, and alpaca. And I'm really glad you put skunk in there because I think they're so cute. Um, so let's start with this top list. Chinchillas are great. Raccoons I talked about a bit. Griffins is what I specifically want to talk about because we don't get too many mythical characters. We do have Drago, who's kind of like a dragon-themed character. And we have, of course, why is Julian? Julian the Unicorn. So... Yeah, I'm all for this. I want to see more of a griffin type of character. I guess would they have that lion body type, but then add wings on top of it? It'd be pretty interesting. And then the special characters, we talked about foxes. I kind of mentioned axolotls a bit, and skunks, I've said, and alpacas too. Yeah, so we can move on to the next one. K 
Caleb says, I would love to see bees. They're a unique species which are cute and deadly. So this one's interesting because we do get those weird moments in Animal Crossing where there's an animal that exists as an animal, and then there's kind of an item that is also that animal which is weird. Um, I guess a specific example I have is the bulletin board. When you have an unread message on the bulletin board, there tends to be a yellow bird on top of there. If it's nighttime, there's an owl, but we have birds and owls as more anthropomorphic characters, so it's kind of weird seeing them both. And so I didn't really think of like bugs that already exist, because bugs there would be so many cool types of villagers that you can have as, that are bugs, like more insects, but thus far in the game they've only been really treated as collectibles, things you catch, things you donate to the museum. So seeing bee type of villagers, that's very unique for sure, and I would, I would enjoy that. I would just like it. And finally, our last one is from Poppy, and that says, Crow slash Raven, please Nintendo. And I do want to, I wanted to highlight this one because OK Motors, their crew with Beppe, Carlo, and I forget the last one's name, but regardless, they're all little crows that are so cute. And I would love to see not only OK Motors come to this next game, but I would also really enjoy crow type of villagers. And once again, this is another bird type of villager. So there are a lot of birds to draw, far, uh, draw from. I'm a very, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of birds, so I wouldn't mind them. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed seeing all of these picks. I think everybody had some really good options. I would love to see any of, the, any of these villagers show up, and I'm just getting so excited to see the game. We are very close at this point. I think at the time this is Friday, maybe a couple more Fridays, and then it'll be E3 weekend, which is insane to me. I'm so excited to see that. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all next week. Bye!